Kendrick's been talking about the whole Drake and everything stuff since Control. Yeah, but that was like way lighter. Just I'm a better rapper than you, and you a fraud. You a phony. Yeah, that's what, that, what yeah. You that's are. what I'm saying. That's where like it, that's where a lot of it started was when he came out and he said that I'm trying. I got love for you all, but I'm trying to uh, bury y'all. Basically, no, he's right. Look, I got it right here. So yeah. this is. Yeah, a, you a guys think that was, like, that was like, how, what year was that? Like 2014. Yeah, 2012. 20, 2012. 2012. Yeah. yeah, we didn't know what we know today. Nah. No, it yeah, was 2011. So right here is, a, is basically a timeline of their beef, right? And it says, one of the biggest beefs in recent his hip-hop history, courtesy of uh, Fox 11. Drake and Kendrick Lamar are feuding to the point that police were asked about their feud after a security guard was shot outside Drake's Toronto mansion on Tuesday. But it wasn't always this way. Over a decade ago, the pair collabed on a few songs. On Drake's 2011 track, Buried Alive, on Lamar's 2012 Poetic Justice, and on ASAP Rocky's Problems the same year. That didn't last very long because in 2013, the Pulitzer Prize winner, Lamar, was featured on Big Sean's Control, in which he called out a slew of rappers, including Drake, J. Cole, Meek Mill, Pusha T, ASAP Rocky, Big Crit, Wale, Pusha T, and even Big Sean among them. I got love for you all, but I'm trying to murder you, he rapped. Trying to make sure your core fans never heard of you. Drake responded in a Billboard cover story saying, I know good and well that Kendrick's not murdering me at all in any platform. Shortly after that, at the 2013 <laughs> Hip Hop BET Awards, Lamar took another jab at Drake. Over the next few years, the rappers launched disses at each other with less frequency. Drake then had other beefs with other performers like Meek Mill, and we seen all them other motherfucking uh, rap beefs tonight that he was in. But most famously, it says here, Pusha T in 2018, 